Evening campsters, welcome to episode three of Big Cats of England. Fucking hell. Um, I'm in a local woodland, well, a woodland near to me in Doncaster. I'm not going to tell you which woodland because it is a nature reserve, not supposed to be here, but there has been some big cat sightings lately in here, so I thought I'd come and see if I can get away with spending it now, which I will do because uh, it is a really quiet woodland anyway midges are out already but yeah welcome back to the channel it has been a while the reason for that is I've been training for the Yorkshire Walls Way which me and the veteran are walking next week which is a 79 mile walk from Hessel near Hull to Filey coastline so yeah 79 miles cross country wild camping on the way take us four days all being well so yeah stay tuned for that it's gonna be a probably a two or three part video but anyway, we're here to have a look for big cats. So I've got my bait set up, just stuck a tarp up. I put the tarp up just so I can sit under it before I set the tent up. So if anyone does come, I can just chuck it down and get on my way. But yeah, thanks for clicking up video. Thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoy it and stay tuned. Right guys, so this is the spot I'm gonna uh, set the trail camera up, I think. It's just all shrubbery under there. Could hide anything. Um, and I think I'm just going to put the camera on that tree there. Spread the bait down here. And see what we get. Um, we are off the beaten track. It's literally, it's so quiet here, it's brilliant. So yeah, fingers crossed we catch something tonight. So I don't think there's any chance that I'm going to be noticed by any kind of animal um, that is around because the, where I'm going to set the camera up is over there in that uh, bit of a clearing. But you've got to walk all the way through this dense pine to get to my camp. My camp's still through, you still can't see it. Camp's through there. So it is quite a way away. My camp's just through there, on the other side of that patch of pine. So, there's been three big cat sightings in the last week in this location. Um, and there's reports of police covering up a uh, road traffic incident involving a big cat. Um, now, there's not been any media or anything on it, but there's just been a little bit of reports I've heard here and there on the internet and from people that I know so yeah and it was a black panther apparently killed in a road traffic incident 
who knows if it's true but if there's one then there could be two three who knows so that's why we're here today try and catch a panther we'll call it the donny destroyer <laughs> and because my training's done now i've dropped a stone and a half in a couple of months so i am i'm ready for this 79 miles walk um, it's been hard graft really getting ready for it but I feel better the body's ready for it I'm ready for it so let's crack on and get it done but while we're waiting for the big cats to appear seeing as though training stopped New England IPA is that yes luminous nights 7.4% Bedtime, I think, after this. Oh, it's fruity. Very few fruity. And it's from Brewing Co. Never heard of them. That is a nice beer. And to say it's 7.4, I don't really... It's not... It doesn't taste like 7.4, which is good. It's very full bodied though. Yeah, nice beer. And that is tonight's setup. We've got the Lomo 3x3 tarp and the One Tigress TP Nova trekking tent, which is super lightweight. It just gets put up with one pole, one trekking pole, and you just peg out the hexagon at the bottom. And there you go. And there's acres of room in there as well. It's an absolutely brilliant tent, especially for the price. Uh, I've just got the tarp over there because I know I'm, I'm forecast rain and. It's just a bit of shelter. I can sit there at the back and do some cooking. Uh, and just spend some time out of the tent, really. Welcome to Boudoir. So, yeah, it's all up now. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's masses and masses of room in here. Obviously, the pole sits further to the front, so you've got all the room at the back to set your sleeping gear up and whatnot. It is a true two-man tent. Uh, you definitely get two people in here. Me and the veteran have spent a couple of nights in here together. Um, yeah, so it's just relax time now um, until the it's time to set up the trail cam. We will relax in here, cook some food, and have another beer. Forbidden fruit. Grapefruit pale ale. Tangy grapefruit flavours dominant this well hopped pale ale leading on to flavours of pithy zest and citrus, all backed up with a refreshing bitterness. So that sounds nice. It's even got calorie content on back of here. 191 calories. 4.6%. And it is, it's a craft beer from Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, Stuart Brewing. There you go. Stuart Brewing. Cheers. Nice feel to it as well. As my dad said. Is it? Yeah, it does smell like grapefruit actually. Oh. I 
that is one of them beers that you could easily drink six or seven pints of and completely forget about life. <laughs> we would do after six, seven pints of it. So yeah, uh, not cooking out great today. I don't think I'm gonna have a fire. I've just got some um, some eggs and some sausage to cook up, fry it up into an omelette, and that's me. Uh, that's all I'll be eating. Got a bag of Haribo's, that's about it. Pardon me. But yeah, there's not much else I can uh, really show you apart from we'll have a walk round. When I set the trail cam up, I'll have a little talk about that. Tell you all about it because it is a fantastic trail camera. So yeah, I'll catch you soon. Right, for those that are interested, my sleep system is just... Sorry, I'm inside the sinks, rain's coming down. Um, OEX Evolution 400 sleeping bag. Great sleeping bag for British weather, I'd say. Um, shit stuff sack. All the stitching comes out of the stuff sack. I've had two stuff sacks for it now, and both have all failed on me. But the sleeping bag is a good product. Uh, for my pillow then I'm choosing my Mountain Warehouse coat and then under there we've got I think it's here oh shit fell over Euro hike self inflating mat and then a the thing that I've been doing lately which adds loads of comfort is bringing my hammock under quilt my one tigress hammock under quilt and what I do then, if it gets a bit nippy, I just chuck that over myself. Um, and that has, worked, that has worked perfect all winter, really. So hopefully I'm going to ditch that soon. And it'll just be the sleeping bag and the mat. Top tip. If you are making an omelette, instead of carrying eggs or buying one of them stupid egg carriers, just whisk them already at home. And you've got a ready made omelette without the stress of carrying eggs. Just realised that I forgot my knife and fork again, so I've just flipped it off on my hands. Check that out. Pepper army omelette. Three eggs, no milk. Pepper army, that's it. Look at that. Oh, yes. I've got my knife and fork, like I've just said. I can show you a slice. Ow, it's burning, ow. Morning, campsters. 
I had to abandon camp last night because uh, directly behind my tarp and where I was camped there was two blokes like hacking away at trees and cutting them down and stuff don't know what they were up to but they're a bit too close for comfort for me um, and obviously I don't want to be involved in any damage to the woodland if anyone found out where I was camping or anything I think oh he camped there so he did the damage but so I just packed up and went home I did leave the trail cam out so that's why I'm back now to pick it up hopefully it's still there uh, but we'll see so come on let's go and have a look anyway thanks to all new subscribers thanks to all old subscribers and to everyone who watches um, sorry I had to cut the video short well that's just how it goes sometimes it's the first ever failed wild camp I've ever had so that's one to put down in book I suppose but yeah I'm just going to go through this woodland see if the camera's still there so this is the spot I were camped in and just behind them trees there that's where all the noise and two guys were hacking at the trees so I just thought you know what get out of here call it a day we're doing the Orchard way next week so stay tuned for that anyway let's go and see if camera's still here I'm hoping it is and we might have caught some on camera who knows that's if it's still here like I said yes you can just see it there in the distance right so that's reassuring Thank the Lord. So that's it for this one, guys. At least the camera was still here. Um, God knows what the men were doing. But they were, I just, no clue. It was getting late as well. So, yeah, no big cats again. But I have just checked the, uh, the footage on the little LCD screen. And we get attacked by a little bird. So I don't know if I were on his tree or his where his nest site is but yeah I'll stick the footage on the end of this video um, made me chuckle anyway but yeah thanks for watching guys the, this series will continue after the Yorkshire Wolds way so probably a couple more weeks and then I'll be back out filming somewhere else I've got to my game plan to get some some proper wildlife on camera like but hey ho anyway thanks for watching see you soon please stay tuned and check out the yorkshire world's way 79 miles walk like i've said previously uh, it should be an epic little trip that and um, we start that in two days time so yes thanks for watching see you later